and welcome back to the channel. I welcome all new subscribers and all existing subscribers. Now I thank you all for your patience as I'm aware it's been a very long time since my last upload but hopefully guys this vlog will show you just how busy I've been and how difficult it is for me to find time to sit down to edit all of this content I have for you. So as you guys know I manage a couple of Airbnbs and here you can see me getting one prepared for a booking that I got last night. This is a one bedroom home located in Eltham, St Anne and as you can see guys it's a traditional Jamaican home with traditional Jamaican decor. Now the decor of this Airbnb definitely is not to everybody's liking but do you know what guys it still gets quite a number of bookings I'm actually quite shocked I'm usually senior citizens or people on a staycation. Route taxis take you to and from Ocho Rios from this location so if you're not a driver transport is definitely not a problem. Hi everybody happy new month it is Wednesday the 3rd of April guys we're four months into the year can you guys believe it already like where is the time going i really don't know um so just checking in to just saying hi um giving you guys a brief update um if you watch my previous vlogs you would know that i've been hard at work um i am currently as we speak now i am sitting down writing my to-do list um the kids are off school until monday they go back monday the 8th and i'm hoping baby boy will start daycare on this day um, once baby boy is in daycare, I can get a lot more done um, work-wise. Um, guys, my clients are building, my jobs are accumulating, and I'm loving it, okay? I'm just not loving the logistics of trying to work everything out. But um, everything will fall into place, as it always does. I'm not concerned. All right, so um, this vlog is where really you're going to be following me around, guys, on my jobs and my projects and and yeah literally just seeing how things go i don't know how this vlog is going to go because right now today i'm today is a stay at home day i am um doing my to-do list writing things down in my diary i'm gonna do some editing and then tomorrow we're out and about okay um so yes i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i hope you're all well i want to thank all of you for your support okay all of the new friendships that i've made all of my new subscribers thank you very much for subscribing guys i'm nearly there i'm on the road to 1000 subs it's taken me two years but we're getting there all right we're getting there okay um yes i hope you enjoy the vlog okay guys so here i have been invited to check out a property that requires some paint work this property is located in Port Maria, St. Mary, and is a four bedroom, four bathroom cottage. Now, this cottage here is only a fraction of what's on the land, okay? It's got a recording studio, it's got um, a main house, it's beautiful, okay? The land is beautiful, and it actually used to be owned by the one and only Rita Mali. This whole building is just full and full of um, culture and history and guys you just need to see it in the flesh. It's beautiful, it's amazing. The current owner has been here since 1989 and he's now decided he's going to list this particular cottage on Airbnb. Now it's not an Airbnb that I'm managing but um, I do partner with a gentleman by the name of Mr. Hilton who has a number of properties here in St. Anne and I am his contracted painter and decorator as, um, as and when he gets new contracts. So here I am just having a look around, look at the bathroom. I was so amazed by this bathroom guys, isn't it beautiful? And guys, if you think this is lovely, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, they're they're huge. huge? They're not, yeah, but they're hidden right now. All of a sudden, they, they always hang out in here too. Let's see if I see one. No, I saw one crossing over there earlier, and now nah, I lost them. <laughs> That's so I have to be careful. They're big ones. Big ones. Yeah, I want to make little hermit crab crossing ones. signs. Yeah, it's hermit crabs. That would be nice. Actually, you could, you could paint 
little ones like that would be the cutest thing. Make like three of them for this pack. Because they're serious, you don't want to kick them. And you know what I mean? It would be super cute. That's an ad. That's an ad on it. I love it. They're small. No, they're this big. The hermit crabs are this big around. Okay. They're big. So the front of this, same thing. Just a power washing. Same hit. The front of that edge. But you see all that? I, right yeah, now, I'm that's even. too big a project, and it's only right here and here. You see that? So I figure we chip it away and keep it for now. Yeah, and the same agreed. thing with these. Big a project, right? They look kind of cool. Eventually, yes. Yeah. Careful, that's glass. Don't touch that stuff. Please. Careful on these steps, okay, girls? Yeah, let's hold your hand. You, you got it? You good? They're big steps, okay? Let me hold your hand. No, I know you're good. You're a big girl, but this, she's a little smaller and she's already stepping all over you. I know. Careful. Careful. Take time, careful. Take time. Come on now. Come on. Okay, good. Same thing, power wash all the stone. Flowers up on that wall first. You know, like get a rope, lift those up. Yeah. Because then you can get behind them nice and then lay them back down. Yes. Do you have an experience, power wash guy? Melt away, melt away all. Oh. Hold on, as you step back, because I didn't see this until I remember this 30 years ago. Uh -huh. Keep coming this way. Come push. No, no, don't now go look. too far. Now look there. What was there before? Oh, on the wall. Look on the wall. The Jamaican flag. I'm wondering yeah, if Richard would ever want to redo this. It's, like a, yeah. it's a guitar. Like look, it's here's one love down here. There's another village. It's like buildings. I, that's a. That's got to be. Rita. That's like Rita. I'm sure that's Rita. You see? Yeah, this has Isn't to be Roots, Rita. right here, Roots and Rita, the Roots, Roots. Roots and Reggae? Roots no, it's and Roots, Rita. Rita. It's Roots, roots. And okay. Roots, oh. Reggae. No, it's Roots, Reggae, but Roots, Reggae music, and that's yeah, Rita for surely. Be, this needs to be redone. Do you, do you not agree? I, I mean, fully agree. And I say a little, like a, a, a power wash from about a foot away to get the grime first. Yeah. Oh my God, the kitchen, the bathrooms will move over there. Okay. But this is going to be eventually kitchen and bar. Oh, a cafe yes. up here. Oh, yes. Lights in the trees. Yes. Right? And oh, gosh. Let everyone enjoy this. Where oh, do you gosh. see the view? Where do you see this view? I might have to come and spend Can my 30th birthday up here. Breakfast and yoga up here. Oh. Come on now. This is this has to be redone with cushions. Cushions, right? Cushions, sofas, maybe stuff. Repaint the wall, you know, and these walls could have little cool in the paintings and stuff look up here. Look at Jimmy, look at the cushions. Is that, that's, that's the shot of, I didn't know that that was national uh, land. Oh, really? Uh, Richard told me that's got a lot of that government land that will never be, uh, like, never, built. Yeah. Like, what do you call it, national forest or something like that. I didn't know that until this trip. Me neither. I don't know where it starts, but it... Isn't the island so beautiful? Oh, I know, a zip line. <laughs> How about a zip line from here all the way down to the beach? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what I want. No, the other way. Thanks. Morning. All right, babies. Right, put this on your back now. Mommy, Jennifer. Can you put this on your back? Mommy, Jennifer. All right. Morning, Jonathan, baby. All right, go on. Good girls. See you later. Have a good day. Jonathan, look where you're going now. Bye, baby. Bye, Mom. Bye, girls. See you later. Right, and baby has gone to daycare. His second day today, he actually started yesterday. I was so anxious, but he was such a good baby and we've actually had such a good morning. Um, so yes, I am now making my way to Port Maria. Um, I've got a job down there. Okay, so as you guys know, I've only got a few hours before I've got to get these girls. So we're gonna go to work, let me put on my data. Um, drive down through St. Mary into Port Maria um, at the Shambhala. If you guys remember the Shambhala, I am back there. Sorry guys. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys at work.
now here I am guys just looking at how much work I actually have to do to get this property ready to the standards that I will call Airbnb ready now guys it's a huge project and I'm looking at this work stunned thinking I've got a lot to do and with only four hours a day it's going to take me some time now in addition to refreshing all of this outdoor concrete you can see by the stairs at the swimming pool I also need to varnish and stain and seal all of this um, furniture here by the swimming pool and the homeowner has been very particular with regards to what I must use these doors need varnishing and then let's not forget the four bedrooms in this cottage that need a complete makeover um, some touch ups in the bathroom also need doing so guys yeah this is a big big job that I have to complete but the beautiful thing is I can do it on my own time scale okay there's no time limit as to when these jobs need to be done and that is the beautiful thing about working for oneself and being one's own boss so after being at the Shambhala all week it's now Friday night and my children and I are in anchovy now in order for me to actually get some work done with all three of my children present I need to work while they're sleeping and it's about 10 o'clock at night and all three kids are fast asleep and this is the time for me to get down to work because when they're up and about I can only do so much and I really feel like it's taken a long time to get this project done now I've been working on this project since March it's now approaching the end of May and I'm so grateful for the patience of the homeowner but I personally want this done and um, you know out there so I can get it rented for her now if you remember guys we actually bought and installed some drywall and this here is me just sanding that drywall down So it's the next morning and I got up bright and early after a few hours sleep well before the kids had got up and I decided to start painting the veranda. So as you can see here I've started the balusters, okay looking good, I'm very proud of my work and yes I was going to continue and then guess who woke up and stopped me in my tracks. Little man, my baby boy, tough tough. So after doing a little bit more painting, my eldest daughter decided she wanted to wake up and here I am preparing her breakfast which is a bowl of Fruit Loops. Not very healthy guys, I do know, but very convenient considering I don't have a stove and I have no idea how to make a wood fire. So if any of you have any tips with regards to how to cook on a wood fire, I will be more than happy to um, hear those tips so I can prepare my kids some healthy food as and when we get to anchovy. One thousand subscribers guys I've made it thank you everybody who has subscribed it's taken me two years but I finally got there all right I don't know what else to say except thank you okay it's Monday morning guys I'm at work in St Mary at the Shambhala if you remember this property from last week um it's all go for me guys Mobe on the weekends St Mary in the week all right Upton to finish I'm in St Mary I've also got another job in Trelawney I'm gonna go look at on Wednesday so guys all I can say is to survive here in Jamaica, you need a consistent income. And guys, my battery died. But what I was actually saying is, to survive here in Jamaica, you do need a consistent income. <clears throat> now, I do understand a lot of people want to come out here and they don't come out here because they don't know how they're going to survive financially. Now, me, I was tired of working for people, so working for myself, I think, was the best route for me. But I understand this route is not going to work for everybody. So let me tell you this one thing. Living in Jamaica is not the same as holidaying in Jamaica. It's completely different, especially with children. 
all right i know a lot of you know this i know a lot of you understand this but i just have to make it clear if you are really really serious about moving out here you need a consistent income consistent because food is expensive school can sometimes be expensive you know driving isn't so bad it's a lot cheaper than the uk the driving and you know but at the end of the day when you weigh up your pros and your cons there's no benefit system you're on your own okay so hence why i've called this vlog surviving jamaica because that's exactly what i am doing So it's another weekend and I'm back in anchovy but this time I have no children whoop de woo so while baby's with dad and my daughter's with a friend of mine I'm trying to get as much work as I done as possible this weekend I was hoping to get paint in this drywall tonight but I could see that it actually did need another coat of plaster so here I am plastering the drywall instead of painting tell you guys what I've been going through right now with a dispute with somebody over pay Lord have mercy the amount of you that told me are you sure you want to go to Jamaica are you sure you want to work with Jamaican people then people this then people that I already knew that thought I'd try you know when you try to help someone and they fling it back in your face that's exactly what has happened but you know what it's not you know what it is I'm not going to go into detail okay it's just mis it's miscommunication and a misunderstanding but you know what my issue is when it comes to misunderstandings, Jamaicans, not all Jamaicans, but the Jamaican people that I've been dealing with, they can't talk, they can't articulate themselves. It's just they're cussing and going all bad. We're not gonna resolve the issue if you're cussing. Do you know what I mean? And the type of person I am, I like to resolve my problems, but this one can't be resolved the way I would like it to be resolved. So, boy, sir, I'm going to be very, very careful with who I bring around me from now on, okay? And you know what, at the same time, I've learned my lesson, do you know what? I've learnt my lesson. This will only strengthen my business and strengthen the structure of my business, okay? First and last time I'm ever going to have a dispute with somebody over pay. But yes, guys, um, I've got work to do before I have to go and get them girls, so I'm going to start working. And yeah, see how the vlog goes. Okay, room one I must complete. Okay, this is coat number two. It's two o'clock and I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, I'm not good. I've got to go to St. Anne's Bay. It's still not looking right. Like some parts of it was it the sunlight. I need a second pair of eyes. I'm gonna go call the homeowner to have a look for the car. I don't know. But yeah, look at that headboard guys. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. But yeah. I'm gonna put the room back together. And then tomorrow. 
we start this one. I've still got three rooms to do. That's room one. This is the second one. Okay, already scraped off the peeling paint and done some plastering. I'm going to coat that with a second um, coat of plaster. And then tomorrow, get painting after we sort out those termites. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh, shit. Hi, everybody. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. It is a new week. It's actually Tuesday, the 14th of May. Um, I'm at work, as y'all yeah, yeah, can see. Still working on the Shambhala project. Okay, I'm two rooms down. Got two rooms to go. Almost there, guys. Almost there. But um, yeah, just checking in to say hi. Um, oh Lord. Guys, it's been so difficult recently. I had a bit of a breakdown the other day. A bit of an emotional breakdown. Went on the phone to a raster man. And sorry, I've got my back towards you guys, but hopefully you can hear me. So, um, yeah, basically just had a breakdown explaining that, you know, I'm doing a lot and it's, it's all getting on top of me now and I need more help, I need more assistance, I've got all these jobs and I can't find reliable people to help me out with work, you know. What I don't understand is people saying they want money, people saying they want to work and and uh, that's plaster. Is that what I did to the man's walls? Oh my lord. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do when I finish. Um, yeah, guys. Um, people say they want work. People say they want this, they want that. And when the opportunity arises, they don't take it. And it's not that they don't take it. It's just like, it's not making a lot of business sense to me. Reason being, if I've offered you a job and we've agreed on the wage, okay, I need you to be able to be independent enough to get yourself to and from work. Like, if you're really waiting on me to, you know, pick you up, for bring you home, buy your lunch, what's the point? It don't make no business sense to me. So I might as well be here doing it on my own, do you know what I mean? So then, that's one aspect. And the other aspect is, guys, it's like, I've got the kids, as you know, all right? Um, school finishes at 2 o'clock, so that's very early. I usually get here for about 10, alright? Um, I try to get here earlier, but school opens at 8.30. There's usually traffic to get baby to daycare. And um, by the time I've got him to daycare, it's after 9, do you know? This is a good half an hour drive away from Ochi. And... Let me just roll it. This is a good half an hour's drive away from Ochi. And by the time I get here, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, I've got like 4 hours to do. You know, I've got like 4 hours. To, to do some form of work and um, I'm grateful in the sense that I've got a wonderful work life balance what four hours a day like that's beautiful you know I'm my own boss I don't have no one to answer to but at the same time guys the business is growing I've got I've got more I'm getting more clients I'm getting more work and drive back now I'm a one woman army and this one woman army business is getting very difficult you know very very difficult so yeah, I had a breakdown. <laughs> and I was on the phone a blubbering mess. Oh, I need help, you know, I need help, there's no one here. I need your help, I need everyone else's help, I need this, I need that. Just, you know, being a woman. You know, but I feel better after that breakdown. A whole lot better. And it's like now, um, I've got myself a business coach. Alright, so I had the coaching session yesterday. Okay, with a lady named Lawlet Hudson. She's the owner of One Hand Can't Clap. And I've been clapping one hand for too long now. And in order for this business to grow and to get to the stage I want it to get to, guys, I need, um, I need assistance. Okay, so I've hired Lawlet as my business coach and I was so grateful for our meeting because it's, it's given me, it's helpful setting things in perspective. Um, she's helping me find a structure. Um, and, you know, I know I've got my own, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> personal goals, but she's helping me <coughs> with regards to business goals. Um, she's given me targets. 
So, you know, I've got something I can use to help me structure, um, help me better structure the business, help me better structure my personal time, and so forth, guys. But yeah, it's a lot, you know? And then I've got other things that I want to invest in, you know, like I mentioned in my last um, blog, the youth club. You know, I really, really, really want to get this youth club up and running, but guys, I'm not going to rush it because I want it to be done properly. You know, it needs to be done properly, so there's no rush in the youth club. You know, that happens when it happens, you know, because I'm going to need help with, like, funding and stuff. So I'm not going to start that until I know I can actually concentrate on it the way I need to concentrate on it, guys, if that makes a whole lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, just checking in. It's been a while since I've had a chit chat with you all. Yeah, guys, so do you know what I've realised? Um, as well, I came here, started this business, okay, with the hope of providing jobs for local people. And I still have that hope and I still have that desire, but I need a certain, I need a certain type of people around me, okay? Um, you know, those that are used to hustling can't manage the working world, I know. And that's what I've realised. That's my experience, okay, of the people that I've worked with so far, okay? Um, so what I need to do is change the way I do things. And I need to, um, what's the word, surround myself with like-minded people, okay? So um, one of my aims and one of my goals is to start going to um, business networking events. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can go to the um, Jamaican Diaspora Conference in Montego Bay next month. Okay, because that's what I need to do now, guys. I need to do more networking um, and I need to make myself more visible. And um, that's literally the aim and the focus, okay, from now on. So, fingers crossed, guys, that I can actually get to go to that conference and meet certain people that I need to meet around. Um, sorry, meet certain people that I need to meet and I need to have around me to help me further benefit um, benefit from this business. Okay, because, guys, the vision I have for this, the vision I have for this business is a, it's a huge vision and it's not going to happen overnight, you know. But you have to have faith. And faith is something I always have. Okay, if I didn't have faith, I wouldn't be here now doing what I'm doing. Okay, a lot of you get in contact with me and tell me that you want to move to Jamaica but you don't know how you'd make an income, okay? The reason I called this vlog Surviving Jamaica is because that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm surviving Jamaica, okay? You need to be your own employer, okay? You need, you need, you need to um, set your own opportunities and appear on those two years, guys. And there's absolutely no sign of me leaving this place to go back to England. Not happening. Not happening. Okay? But, um, yes, guys, that's enough chit-chat. I'm going to get to work because I don't have that much time if I've got to get the girls. Um, I don't have a structure for, for this vlog right now. I'll just film when I film, edit when I edit, upload when I upload. So, guys, see you soon, okay? It's Friday morning, half past six. Just put out my clean laundry and I'm now going to water my beautiful trees, guys. I've got me some trees. The life of me, I can't remember which one's which. I know I've got dream plum, I know I've got sour sap, I know I've got a busy tree, I've got some mint to make some tea. Mm -hmm. Let's water these now. Say hi. Mm -hmm. He's had me up since 10 to 6. Bright and early this morning. Mm -hmm. 
Seven months this month, guys. Can you not believe it? Seven months. She's going to be one soon. I don't know where the time's going. Hmm? This is him hungry. The baby's waiting for breakfast. Oh, my sweet baby. I love my sweet baby. Hmm? Oh guys, so it's Friday morning as previously mentioned and um, um, the motive for today is so I'm going back to the Shambhala God, I look rough man <laughs> ah, Lord. I'm going back to the Shambhala okay, because out of the four bedrooms I've managed to do two and a half okay, so I've still got two bedrooms to paint I've still got to um, stain the kitchen cupboards then the doors are wood and they need restaining and revarnishing so I still need to do that, I still need to stay in the patio doors, I still need to paint the outside wall, I still need to paint the wall by the jacuzzi, so it's a big project and it's not going to, um, I won't be finished in a week or two, do you know what I mean? So, um, just one of them things, but the kids finish school at one o'clock today, so I'm only going to do a couple of hours. Baby's going to daycare as always, while mummy's working. And then after Shambhala, I've got to go down to St. Anne's Bay. Um, I'm sorry, part of the services I offer for my clients is also helping them find reliable people to, um, no, whatever it is, that they, whatever service they require, I can connect them to that person. So I've got um, my business coach, actually, my business coach in St. Anne's Bay has been looking for um, a maintenance worker, um, someone to help maintain her yard and her swimming pool. And I have found someone, so we have a scheduled interview today at 2pm, um, so I'll be in St. Anne's Bay trying to arrange... Um, not arranged, trying to um, interview. I'll be in St. Anne's Bay interviewing the applicant in front of my client and if he accepts the job then I've got a contract to draw up and you know he starts his job and I can let my finder's fee. Okay? So guys there's many many aspects to my business but me being on my own it's so hard. Okay, it's hard. But do you know what, guys? Like I mentioned, I had that breakdown prior, but I'm feeling a lot better. Sometimes an emotional breakdown is needed in order to get some mental clarity and be able to move forward. All right, I've had my breakdown. I'm going to dust off my shoulders and start again. Do you know what I mean? So I've got Shambhala. I've still got the project in Montego Bay, which is not finished. All right. And um, it, will fi it will be finished when it's finished. You know, at the end of the day, um, I can only do so much. Do you know what I mean? So um, I'm here chit-chatting like I don't need to get everybody ready for school and nursery. I'm going to do that, get myself ready, get myself dressed, um, head out and we'll catch up soon.